kapan lagi pergi ke luar negeri ada videografer itu baru 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 kali ini kan kali seumur hidup iya nah, ini baru sekali seumur hidup men kalau pergi ke luar negeri ada videografer ya kalau nggak priwet ya kayak sekarang lah kapan lagi terus cita-citanya mau jadi apa jadi top player terus si game juara nggak juara karena lawan siapa lawan semuanya mas mas sip sip dari Indonesia untuk SEA Games 2019 yaitu kita tampilkan uh, Dani Bondan Pramana de Rougel uh, Lukman Top 2 Tahun Please sit down Dan yang kedua adalah Emmanuel Quanta Enrique Tahun Bondan Pramana Oke, sekarang untuk Quantel, apakah kamu memiliki keinginan untuk menjadi seorang profesional setelah kamu lulus? Mungkin kalau, apalagi secara kan kan udah mulai di pertandingan di Asian Game, di SEA Game, jadi mungkin mau... Mungkin mau serius di sini. Kalau Druzial, bagaimanakah rasanya jadi perwakilan Indonesia di SEA Games? Bangga pertama. Bangga? Bangga. Nggak nyangka? Atau nyangka? Apa? Aku uh, tahu kok aku bakalan... Nggak menyangkanya karena, karena akhirnya e-sports jadi salah satu cabang olahraga resmi di SEA Games. Iya, iya, iya. Ya, dan ya bangga sih, bangga banget dan seneng banget. Dan saya pasti bakal uh, do the best for Indonesia. but a lot of things that just need practice, honestly. Yeah. Um, like we have to dive into specifics, but even if I were to like point out all these issues that you have in your play, it'll take time to kind of fix these things automatically. Do you know what I mean by that? So, even after you leave here, like you'll have to be playing a lot up to the Asian games or Sea games if that's what the, the goal is. I don't know if the goal is to be a pro gamer or if the goal is to do well in SEA Games, but whatever your goal is, you have to maintain a heavy practice schedule. Supirnya gila. <laughs> Supirnya gila, man. <laughs> Kenapa gila? Kenapa gila? Gimana tadi ceritanya? Ceritanya kita pengalaman baru nyampe Korea. Terus Iya nyetirnya gila aja, <laughs> lebih gila daripada Nino. Gilanya bukan karena cepet ya? Iya. Atau dia ngantuk apa rabun senja nggak ngerti dah. Atau dua-duanya? Apa bucin gue nggak ngerti. Antara jumlahnya. Awalnya. Iya, iya, iya. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. 
Maknyus <laughs> Bayi Bondan Gimana rasanya makan mak- makanan Korea? Belum biasa kali ya kayaknya Jadi gak terlalu gimana Enakan Indonesia lah <laughs> Berarti si Ranger belum kesini ya? Belum Ini Ranger main in Vietnam Tak kalah lo mau Vietnam Terusan. Iya Iya <laughs> Vietnam rankingnya berapa? Kemarin juara men, WSC. Oh, tapi kalau kata no regret, tapi dia bilang nggak di- ya, begitu kuat. Iya nggak begitu kuat emang. Soalnya tuh playstyle nya gimana ya? Bisa apa ketebak dia mainnya? Iya. Lagi bro Mau ke kantor Blizzard men Kantor Blizzard men What the idea was you're supposed to attack at the same time at the third base. Oh, okay. That's what I was trying to tell you. So next time, when we do this, when you see Colossus, you should know immediately that they're kind of sluggish. Like they they don't have very much mobility. Yeah. Um. This third scout should be much faster. Like this Reaper, I think, sat here for a really long time. Yeah. Like I don't know when you do move it, but it's nice to actually see the third go down. Yeah. Uh, Those are hopefully things you can pick up on. Yeah. Like yeah. even this fight, if it was planned a bit better, you would have won it. Yeah. Like you right click on it, yeah, it would have been okay if there was nothing here. Yeah. But realistically, it was Zealot and Sentry. You could have just stutter stepped and then killed the base. And then if he pulls these stalkers back, which he should, yeah. then you boost in, right? Lo, worker lebih sedikit daripada army lo, eh daripada musuh lo. Berarti kan army lo harus lebih banyak, karena lo income dua dapat sama kan, hitungan ya. Ya jadi kalau misalnya pas nyerang, lo udah ngerasa army lo harus lebih banyak dari musuh lo. Eh ternyata dia bisa punya army buat defend lebih lebih banyak. Iya, berarti kan lo bihain di segala hal lah, ekonomi lo tuh. Simba, dua kosong tadi. 
Gangnam Street. For me, I'm like into StarCraft because of the C games. If mm. not, I, I would just yeah. I mean, uh, I have I have another life, you know. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah. To maintain a high level. Mm. Hopefully, Quantel decides he wants to do it. It seems like he's in a good position to be a pro gamer if he wanted to. Yeah. Like I think being young is really important, actually, in being a pro gamer. Yeah. It doesn't really have to do with like speed or mental or anything. It's more about like the lack of life experience almost. Because once you get the taste of like other things and doing your own stuff on your own, like you, you kind of get lazy. Yeah. Like when I was 16, I didn't have, I was either high school or StarCraft. And that was, you know, StarCraft was always way better than high school for me. Yeah. So I played a lot of StarCraft. Because you don't have distraction, right? Yeah. But now, like, I've got a life. I can learn Korean and do things. And yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend time with my girlfriend or whatever, and all this yes, stuff is just way yes. more fun. <laughs> That's why I told I told him that. Yeah, it's good. It's good for you that you have no interest in women, women at all. <laughs> Nineteen-year-olds are interesting yeah. people, but eventually he's gonna find interest in whatever he, he's interested in. I think when I was nineteen, I didn't have much personality, much interest in things, but. Given time, I've found myself interested in a lot of things. Yeah.